Okay. Um, an Entei spawned. Probably on the surface. I don't know whether to go up there. I guess so. I guess I might as well. Oh yeah, I'm basically back home. I'm in a... I'm in a um, <clears throat> mountain biome right near home. I made it back home. Oh, and welcome to the episode. Hello every again, everybody. Every again, buddy. Hello every again, buddy. Um, welcome back to another episode of Pixelmon. We are chilling in a mountain biome. We were looking for Diancie. I really want to get it um, before... Or in this episode, before we move on to another generation, I really want to get Diancy. I think it would be a great thing to have. Um, so I'm just waiting every morning, and I've just been mining. Um, but yeah, I'm just waiting through every morning. Uh, and unfortunately, this morning is over in 10 seconds. But an Entei spawned, supposedly, or probably on the surface. Um, where are we? Yeah, there it is. I see it right there. We just gotta get up there. <clears throat> but since we're in a mountain biome, it's gonna be harder to do because it's further up. So it's gonna be higher than the normal 63. It's probably gonna be closer to 80 or 90 maybe. But at least we're getting another Pokemon, hopefully. Another legendary Pokemon. Um, it's very valuable. I hear the rain. Do you remember? That was, I butchered that <clears throat> completely. Please tell me it's still here. Did it despawn for real? I think it despawned. It was up here. Did you really despawn? Can you do that? I thought they didn't despawn for a long time. Nope, it despawned. Thank you for wasting my time. What a great intro to the video. Okay. Great! I even located it on the map, and it despawned. Spectacular. And this thing is messed up because water is going to flood into my entire pathway now, and I can't even find the way I came up. Bonk. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go back down, keep mining. I'm getting some platinum while we're down here. Um, and keep waiting for Diancy. We're going to get it. We, we I will not stop until I get one, so... See you guys in a bit. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, I was testing Legendary Spawn again just to make sure I was still in the right place. And then one actually spawned. You can tell because this one says Attempting Legendary Spawn and then this one doesn't. <laughs> so, uh, hold on. Let me get to where I am. I see one right there. Oh, there's actually one right here. I don't know which one I spawned and which one uh, spawned naturally, but regardless, I'm going to go for this closer one, uh, because either way, it's right here. Oh, okay, get this, but don't let it despawn. Okay, so where is it? Oh, it's uh, standing right next to me. Wait, how? What? Oh, it's like on a different level somehow. Up, up here somewhere? Up, maybe? See, okay, yeah, 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 there's like a cave over here, somewhere. Uh-huh, where is it going? It's running away from me. Okay, where's this cave? Get me in here, hi, there. Mine shaft, I see. Mine shaft. Hey, 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 where are you? What's happening? Okay. I'm standing on top of it. It's either above me or below me. And I think it's below me. Let's see. Nope, because this is getting me even closer to bedrock. So it's got to be up here. Up a level. Hello! <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, Diancy, level 84. All right, we're gonna have this one out just in case, but uh, we're just gonna do this, actually. I'm gonna have this out just in case, um, because of the chance. Why is that there? What did I just do? Did I just take that out? 
Okay. There's a chance I'll have to use it, but I'm hoping for not. We really need our dream balls, but I guess that's what getting this platinum is for. Because this guy's not heavy enough, so it's not going to be very easy to catch it. However, it's not the lowest chance, I think if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, because the lowest chance was of catching it was um, 0 0.3 something percent per Ultra Ball. And this one's a 0.78% per Ultra Ball. The Dusk Balls are a little bit better than that. Um, if I had Dream Balls, we'd be at like a 3% chance per ball. But uh, unfortunately, we do not have Dream Balls yet. Okay, let's make sure it's all the way at the bottom. So Dusk Balls are our best bet. And then, of course, Repeat Balls, which we barely have any of. Or no, timer balls, right? Yeah, timer balls are the ones that we want. Read people balls are when I've already caught it. So great ball or dusk balls and timer balls are the ones that we're gonna throw. So here we go. It's obviously going to be quite a few before I'm actually able to Oh, you know what I should do? I should switch to the Lunala, put it to sleep every chance that I get, just to up my chances a little bit, falling asleep. Okay, dusk ball, dusk ball until turn 11. It's already turn 16, so I guess I can use them whenever I want. Um, still asleep. Let's go timer ball. Bad. Dusk ball. Still asleep. Bad. Timer ball. All right, we'll give quite a few chances. Avoided it. Avoided it. Falling asleep. Dusk ball. Okay, nothing. Timer ball. These are each about 1%. So in theory, I think timer balls are about 1.5. Dusk balls are about 1. So in theory, I should catch it within about 85 balls. Um, just if I keep switching between the two. So I can do that, or I can use my Master Ball. I would love to not use my Master Ball. I think that that would be really good. Anyway, this is kind of the last Legendary that I really want to try to catch. So, uh, or uh, for this generation. Before I move on to a new... Okay, before I move on to a new generation, I'm thinking, wow, that was, like, immediate. That was crazy. Oh, I keep, I've forgotten to put it to sleep. Whoopsies. Um, before I move on to a new generation, I might want to go back to Gen 7 Legendaries and at least just try to get the rest of the Tapus, because the Tapus should be pretty easy to get, I think. Um... I need Tapu Fini, which sp spawns in water in a jungle. And then I need uh, Tapu Bulu. No, Coco. No. Lele, which is at night. So both of those should be pretty simple to get, hopefully. Uh, so we'll probably go over to our jungle um, after this. There we go. We'll probably go over to our jungle after this and uh, give a few nights worth of searching. And then finally, we'll move on to another generation after getting those. So, yeah. Oh, and we need to get Zygarde, too. See, I'm saving my Master Ball mainly for Zygarde, I think. Um, just because... I, with, with the ones that you have to, like, do something to spawn them in... I feel like I should probably play it safe and go Master Ball. So I definitely want to still have them. Still have Master Balls. Still have the one that I have. Okay, Diancy is awake again. This thing is freaking hard to catch. Keep it going. Keep, keep putting it to sleep as many times as you can. Stop avoiding it. Stop avoiding it. Wow, you really can't avoid so many. Jeez. 
Okay, timer balls I think are higher, so I'm gonna stick to timer balls from here out. Uh, let me check though. Yeah, timer balls are a 1.57% chance each. So, on to sleep yet again. So if we throw just those, we should eventually get it in theory, but I don't wanna waste too many. So, oh! <laughs> Oh my god, let's go! Let's go! Okay, Diancy is going here. Which actual slot? Diancy. 719, which is this one. Beautiful! Alright. Well, then let's go get Zarud right, or Zygarde right now. Um. Because I think that that would be valuable to have done. Let's see if. What is this? Looks like a broken portal, but I don't think those were in the game yet. Or maybe they were. I can't remember if that was the, the nether update. I think it was. Um, either way. Yeah. I'm going to go up to the surface. I'm going to go home, basically. I think the last time I healed was down here, but I can try to teleport, maybe. Yep, it was down here. And now I don't know where I am. Hello? Okay. Oh, wait, I do know where I am. I'm actually, like, I think near the first place I came in. Yeah, right here. And how did I get down here? I don't even remember. Oh, I dug. Apparently. Maybe. I don't remember how I got down here. I guess I just dug. Okay. Oh, there's my hole. Okay, cool. Anyway... That was that was good. I'm glad I didn't uh, didn't cheat that one, which is good. Um, always always better <clears throat> when I don't wind up resorting to cheating. I was testing right in the. It was crazy how right in the middle of testing it. What's this guy? Min Min Xiao. Let's see. I have that right. Yeah, that's right. Um. Right in the middle of testing it, one actually spawns in. That was really funny. Okay. All right. Now we're... <sighs> I'll see you guys at home. <clears throat> okay. We're back home. So, I have to hop into creative because I think I figured out that... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. All right, let's just assume that we would have gotten all of these over our trip. I think we would have, probably. That, I think, destroyed one, so I might be one short. Let's find out. <laughs> Spamming my chat box with all of these. Bop, beep, boop, beep, 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 bop, boop, beep, 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 beep. And we're one short, like I thought. Sell. Beep. Boom, bam, bam, boom. Okay. Strange creatures were sucked into the. Okay, got it. So, what we do, I think, is assembly with Zygarde. Really select the Zygarde you would like to combine cells with. No. Assembly. The Zygarde cells will be used to construct Zygarde 50%. Okay. I don't have to catch him? Okay. Oh, wow. That saves me time. And resources. Very cool. Okay. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Where does that baby go? Zygarde is 18. So this one right there. And it leaves two... Really? 
Oh my god, seriously? So for five and six, I'm only two Pokemon, or I guess five, I'm also three because of Oshawa. But for five and six, I'm only two legendaries away from the end. That's insane. I'm happy about that. Cool. I'm going to keep this thing on me. I don't think uh, there's any reason for me to, but I'm going to do it anyway. Anyway, <clears throat> well, I guess that leaves us to go to the jungle. So I will see you guys there. We'll be looking for Tapu Lele and Tapu Fini. And it would be amazing if we could get there quick because the... the uh... Oh, yeah, jungle was pretty annoying to get to, wasn't it? I can't remember. Let's find out. Jungle. 500 blocks. Do I go through this way? Oh. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Uh, great. Well, now I've committed. Okay, go out this way. I don't remember. Anyway, I'll see you guys there. What is this? What is this? I'm over by the jungle, sort of. I got here too late, so I decided I'd just walk around. What the heck is this? <gasps> oh my god. This is the... Oh my god. This is the Ilex Shrine, isn't it? No freaking way. No way. There was one right here? I had already been here. This was... Previously generated land there. I just never saw it. It was right there. That's so Funny I must have walked right look at there's like a path right here that I flew right over one time Okay, let me look up. Let me oh god. Let me remind myself how to do Celebi and we'll figure it out Okay, I need a GS ball uh, Which I can find in desert pyramids apparently but at least I know where this is. I don't even need to put a waypoint because I know exactly where it is now. That's right. It's by the jungle. Okay. That's uh that's spectacular, to say the least. That is that is really great that we were able to find that. Okay. Neat. Alright, so I'm gonna head back to the jungle because it's about to be nighttime. I'm gonna walk around looking for Tapu Lele, I think that's the nighttime one, and then Tapu Fini is in the morning. Or maybe it's the after- oh, maybe it's the afternoon. Maybe I should have been there right now. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm just gonna wait around here till we find what we're looking for. See you guys in a bit. Aha! Tapu Lele. Alright, let's see what we can do. Oh, you know what we forgot to do? That's gonna piss me off. We totally forgot to make our dream balls. We really wanted to do that. But we forgot to do that. Oh, don't die, please. Okay. Where is this thing? Hi, there you are. Hello. Okay. Uh, we'll start off with a quick ball. Quick ball. Not gonna catch it. Let me look up the catch rates for this guy. All right. Um, so we got our 0.78% chance again. Uh... Which is pretty good. Um, seems like it's probably just going to be a matter yet again of putting it to sleep. Giving a shot with uh, Dusk Balls and Timer Balls until we get it. Um, it's a pretty same exact chance as uh, Diancie except for that this one is... Level 60 and Diancy was level 84, which will, which does change the chances a little bit. We're obviously not going to use timer balls until we've gotten to turn 11. So we're waiting for that. Where is the ball going when I'm throwing it? Like up in the air. Wow, this thing doesn't stay asleep for very long. Let's put it to sleep again. Yet another dust ball. My blunder here is that I accidentally forgot to... Uh, get my master ball out this time. All right, here's turn 11. We're going to toss a timer ball at it this time. Timer balls, again, are a little bit better than dusk balls. Dusk balls are 1.18%. Timer balls are 1.57%. A little bit better. 
that that will be the difference maker if I'm gonna have to go for all of them. I.e., like if I have to throw eighty of them versus having to throw a hundred of them. That's the difference between <laughs> one point one and one point five. So it's worth doing, I'd say. Um, do more timer balls. It's turning morning, so dust balls actually won't work in a second here. Close. We had three there. I'm gonna throw another timer ball. I really want to try not to uh, use our master ball on any of these, either of these guys. Hey, the Graphii needs to die. It needs to die. I need to kill it. It's going to drive me insane. Okay, it woke up. Got to put it back to sleep. It avoided it, and I'm dead. Almost dead. I'm not dead yet. Oh, you know what I should do, actually, instead of throwing a ball in the next turn? I should take advantage of the fact that it's asleep. Don't kill me. And... Oh. I thought I put rest on this guy. Guess not. Okay. Whatever. Turn 22. I wish... Oh! It made the sound. Oh, it actually gave it to me. Amazing. Awesome. Oh, that is so nice. Okay, cool. Beautiful. Okay, so we got Lele. That's very nice. Um, neat. That means Feeny is in the afternoon. And that's all we're waiting for now. That's uh, here, I think. Tapu. Yep. So we're just waiting for Feeny, which is the fourth one of the set. Which is awesome because, let's see, in terms of... Um, yeah, in terms of legendaries from Gen 7, it looks like, let's look again, remind ourselves exactly of what is in Gen 7. So Gen 7 has the four Tapus as legendaries, then the four Cosmog evolutionary chain as legendaries as well. Then Ultra Beast, 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 Legendary, which we have. Legendary, I believe, which I can't remember what it is. Legendary. Then Ultra Beast, Ultra Beast, that's the evolution of Poiple. And Ultra Beast, Ultra Beast. I think that's a Legendary as well, if I'm remembering correctly. So that means we need one, two, three. And we're going to get this one right now. So we'll only have two legendaries left to get. The hardest part is going to be the Ultra Beast. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five more Ultra Beasts after this. So, yeah. There's going to be quite a bit of Ultra Beasting we have to do. Hello, Tapu Bulu. Um, we're going to be going to have quite a bit of... Uh, Ultra beasting we're going to have to do in Ultra Space, which is annoying because that was like my least favorite thing to try to do because you don't even get spawn messages for when they spawn in. You just have to notice, and that sucks. But what can you do, really? Um, it's just what we'll have to deal with. Anyway, okay, I'm going to wait until it's the afternoon, and then we're going to wait for a Tapu Fini. So, yeah, see you guys then. It's here. Where? I think I see it on the map. Right here. Water. No, water over here. Oh, the river. Even though it's a river and it shouldn't count as jungle. Maybe. Maybe this does count as jungle. Maybe this isn't a river. Aha. Hello, Tapu Fini. Okay, you're in water. So that's actually going to be quite helpful, I think. We're going to false swipe you. Yep, we're going to false swipe you again. And then for the third time, we're going to false swipe you. Boom. Down to one health. And then what we're going to do is bring out Lunala as usual. Try to hit you with a quick hypnosis. Failed. Failed because... Falling asleep, okay. Failed because I suck, I guess. On the first one. 
Okay, um, not dust balls, but dive balls. Dive balls are going to be helpful here because it is in water. So that'll give us a 1.3% chance for each of these. And then a 1.57 for each of the timer balls that I wind up throwing. And it's also turning nighttime, so we can even throw dust balls into the mix. Very cool. They spawn at the very end of an afternoon. Um, it was like 9.30, so 30 seconds until it wasn't afternoon anymore. But it spawned in, lucky me. I spent about two days, two, maybe three, I can't remember. I think three. Three Minecraft days off camera, just waiting for it. So three different afternoons. And finally it spawned in. This one was kind of a rare one. Tapu Bulu spawned a lot more often. And that was the thing. The le most of the time, if it attempted to spawn a legendary, it would be a Tapu Bulu. Because those can also spawn during the day. So, yeah. Um, and daytime includes both morning and afternoon. Tapu Fini can only spawn on surface water in the afternoon. But Tapu Bulu can spawn at in the daytime, including afternoon, anywhere in a jungle that's not water. So there's much more land than water in the jungle that we're in. Um, so most of the time when it attempted to do a legendary spawn, I'd get a Tapu Bulu, which was pretty frustrating, but whatever. Um, all right, we can start doing some timer balls as well, I suppose. My computer is worrying yet again. It takes a little while for it to calm down. Let's put it back to sleep. Let's throw our first timer ball. Boom. We're going to get it first timer ball try. Here we go. Boom. Nope. Nope. Did not. Did not happen. Second timer ball try. Boom. Easy. Nope. Okay. Uh, let's try some Dusk Balls since we're running lower on timer balls now. We have a bunch of Platinum at home, so we'll be able to make a bunch of balls. And I think with this one, we're just gonna end it off for Legendary Hunting for a while. We got a lot of what we wanted, which is really, really cool. Um, and some extras with Zekrom and, and Rushiram and all of those. Those are some good extra ones to throw into the list. Um, so we're getting close for some generations. Others were still quite far. I really want to do two next, um, because I think that we can do it pretty easily. And then after two, I think we will do four, because four has a lot of work to do. Um, or we have a lot of work to do on four, is what I mean to say. So that's, I think, what our focus is going to be. Tapu Fini use Heal Pulse. It's healing me. That's really funny. Did I get it? Nope. Annoying. Water gun. Let's put it to sleep again. Timer ball yet again. Timer balls are just the best option here. Um, but I don't want to use too many. Because I want a stash of them. So it's important to try to not use too many. Um, once I get to this equal amount of dive balls, then I'll just alternate between the two. Because those are our two best options right now. Dive is 1.3. Timer is 1.5. Dusk is only 1.1. So, okay. So we're at 37 dive balls. We'll go on timer balls until we're at 37. Um, nothing. Let's go. Okay, so we have 10 to do before we're caught up to the dive ball stash here. And I think that we can get it in the next 10. 10 would give us a 15% chance of getting it. So add that to the percent chance that we've already had from the amount of balls that we've already thrown. And I'd say that we're guaranteed to get it in these next 10. There's two, three, third time's the charm. That's what they say, ready? Here we go, it's gonna close. And then one roll, two rolls, three, nope. Annoying. They do say fourth times of charm. I've heard them say that. I don't know who they are, but they say it all the time. See? One, two. Well, they're wrong. Whoever said it is wrong. Uh, something I do hear a lot from 
the general public is fifth times the charm. So, okay. Well, the general public is also wrong. However, from professionals, I do hear all the time, the sixth time is the charm. So I'm going to trust their expertise here because they do know what they're talking about. Apparently, they don't know what they're talking about. Their research is wrong. From the underprivileged, I hear seventh times the charm all the time. I guess that's why they're underprivileged. I'm That's terrible. <laughs> okay, I was just... You know, I was just being creative. I was trying to come up with a bunch of different classes of people. I'm sorry. From, st okay. All right. From, from students, I hear ninth times the charm every single day. I'm a student myself, and I hear it from my peers all the time. Ninth times the charm. I've been misinformed. And finally, tenth time is the charm. That's from me. I think that. I think that the tenth time is the charm. And I'm wrong. I'm an idiot. I hate myself. I am worthless. I suck. And that's the end of things. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do one dive. Which is less than a timer. I'm actually surprised we haven't gotten it by now. It hasn't taken this long for any other ones. And this is the same catch rate. I looked it up. Oh, and it's awake. I shouldn't throw them unless they're asleep. Stupid. <sighs> okay. Alright. Put it to sleep again. Out of mist. Okay, weird. We're gonna throw another dive ball. And it's gonna catch it here. This is too much, man. That's too much, man. Alright, if I get to 32 of both... Idiots. If I get to 32 of both, I'm... I might just break out my Master Ball and do it that way. To be honest. If I get to 32... Okay, stop that. Stop avoiding it. Stop. Stop. Jeez. Okay. Um... Okay, so there's... Only three left of each one until we get to 32. I really don't want to get to 32. I think that that would be stupid. But this thing is freaking hard to catch. Why? Is it still asleep? It is. Okay, while it's still asleep, throw another timer ball. Maybe I was wrong. Hold on. No, I'm not wrong. Tapu Fini is definitely... There we go. It's asleep again. Timer ball yet again. It's gonna be daytime, meaning we've spent a whole 10 minutes on this freaking thing. 11, really. Which is obnoxious. Can you just catch it, maybe? It's not that hard. We caught all the other ones, dude. I might. I don't wanna use my Master Ball on this at all. But I'm getting frustrated. Okay. Alright, buddy. I feel like some of them are just more prone to. Avoided, avoided. Avoided. I'm about to run out of these. Okay, got one more on it. Okay, I'm just gonna keep throwing timer balls. Turn 59. 59. I've been throwing since 9. I've thrown 50 balls at this guy. That should mean by now I should have had about a 65% chance of catching it. That's pretty high. So the fact that we haven't caught it yet is very concerning. I feel like they have, like, like, you know, between different Pokemon, I have, I feel like they have different, like, personalities. Like, one, even though it's the same type of Pokemon, one will be more likely to be caught than another. Like, one's more stubborn than another, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, last, last hypnosis. It hits. This is turn 63. I have thrown 55 Pokeballs at this guy to no avail. And to be honest, thinking of just using my Master Ball. Because look, because what am I supposed to do? I mean, what? 
I don't know. I don't want to use my Master Ball, but I've learned I've used so many of these. I could give like Quick Balls a try, I guess. Those are like 1.5 or something each. Every time I come back into the fight or something like that, 1.3 or maybe one. I can't remember. <sighs> this is oh okay. You killed Lunala. Great. Okay, bring Skeleturge out. Okay. Dive ball again. All right, we're going to turn 75. If this guy's not caught by turn 75, we're leaving the fight. We're trying five quick balls. If I haven't caught it by then, Master Ball it is, which is just obnoxious. The fact that it's the same catch rate... The fact that it is the same exact catch rate as the other Tapus, and I'm having this much trouble catching it, is so obnoxious. Here's turn 69. We're giving one more try after this. And we're not going to get it. So here it comes. This is the last try. Turn... No, I said 75. That's right. Okay, we'll do five more. We'll do five more timer balls. See, I wish timer balls compounded on one another. The further you got in turns, the more chance you had to make the catch. That's not how they work. It's just after turn 11, you have a 1.5% chance on these guys. All right, three more balls. This is unreal. I'm actually so surprised that I've spent this much time and this many resources on this guy. It, it's blowing my mind. I think there is probably like a stubbornness. Like this has to be like a stubborn guy or something like that. It has to there that's the only explanation I could have for the fact that I would I haven't caught it by now. Caught it by now. Because by 75 turns, I should definitely have had a 75% chance of catching it by now. That is a 3 out of 4 chance that I should have caught it by now. And I didn't get it. Here it is, turn 75, and that is it. I hear scholars say 75th time's the charm. That's it. Wow. Actually, unbelievable. Okay, I'm throwing one more just to get down to 20, and also for it to kill Skeledurge, and that's it, man. That is so sad. I can't believe I'm about to use a, a Master Ball on this guy. That is so annoying. The fact that I just use so many resources on this is so annoying, dude. It has to be stubborn or something. That is the only thing I could think of to explain why it would not give it to me. Hello, Tropius. I hate Tropius. Okay, give me give me a quick ball. Okay, ready for this? We're gonna do we're gonna do six of these to get down to sixty. Yeah, that's not even giving me a chance. I go like this instead so that I'm not throwing it into the sky. Didn't help that much, but at least it did something. One. Two. Hey, it gave me two. I think we've discovered, though, that the rolls that the balls give you don't actually mean anything. Hey, suck them up. One. Only one. This one's gonna go down in history as one of my most annoying ones. I would love to have my dream balls right now, or dream whatever they're called. Two. Okay, we got two off of that one. Um, yeah, dream ball, right? I think they're called dream ball. I would love to have my dream balls right now because I would love to be a running actual 3% chances instead of freaking 1s and 1.5s. That's a big reason why this has been so frustrating. I probably could have caught it much easier if I had had those, but I didn't. So the fact that it's come to this is really frustrating to me. But there you go. I hate using those. Absolutely hate using those, especially when it's something like that where, like, I should definitely have gotten it. Because I got all of these without using Master Balls, I think. I got this one so easily. 
But that's how it goes. That's how the cookie crumbles. Anyway, that's going to be it for me tonight. I don't know if the episode is over. Um, I mean, we just spent like 15 minutes alone just on that. And yeah, I'd say that it probably is over because we I think we also cut Diancy this episode um, and all of that. So yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have all enjoyed. Thank goodness we're done with the tapus. Never, ever, 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 ever want to think about them ever again. <laughs> they just took so many resources from me, and I hate them. And, uh, yeah, so next episode, we are going to start on Gen 2. So we'll be at home, and we'll uh, give Gen 2 a, a start. And, um, yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day, and goodbye.